I'm actually staying with my grandma, taking care of her at mom and dad's house, and I am away from my desktop computer. That's why that intro was a little bit different. Anyway, let's begin the vlog. Hey guys, remember that HP Office Pro 8500 wireless printer that we found, baby? Look at that, it works fantastically. I accidentally turned it off, so I'm actually turning it back on, so it's cleaning the print head, going through that whole process again. But anyway, I was printing some shipping labels off last night, and I'm actually doing that right now for eBay, but I cleaned it up with my spit shine, my spit shine, Alcohol, 91% right there, guys. Clean electronics with that, absolutely fantastic. Safe for electronics, does have some ink in it. The black seems a little low, but for some reason, it's printing out really fluidly and really clearly, so I'm really excited about that one, guys. So we will probably either keep this one till the ink runs out, because I have too many printers. I'm more of a laser printer guy myself, and we already have Canon right over here. So I'll either give it to someone after the ink runs out, or just give it to them with the ink still there. So. Anyway, cool dig. So guys, also I wanna show you guys one thing real quickly. If you guys ever reuse boxes, reuse Amazon boxes or find boxes because you don't wanna pay for boxes, and if you're shipping within, again, I, the reason I'm not using a flat rate USPS, United States Postal Service box, is because shipping like within the state, within the region where I am. So for instance, let me give you a quick example, guys. Okay, so I got a really heavy box right here. We got a almost a nine pound box right here, right? And obviously, you know, I I would think to myself, okay, I'm gonna be using a USPS flat rate medium box to fit all my stuff in here. It's gonna cost me after my eBay discount, it's gonna cost me, you know, $11 and something cents. Anywho, guys, always double check. Again, this is only going about one hour, one hour and a half away from where I live. I packaged up an Amazon box and it's only gonna cost me like $8 and like 17 cents. So I'm saving like, you know, quite a bit of money, not like a ton of money, but again, I already have the box. I'm doing the same thing, taping it up. There's no difference. Might as well save some cash, guys. So if it's close, definitely use your own box. So anyway, let me break it down real simple here. I am reusing this Amazon box. Make sure that any labels, you don't have to tear them off, but definitely go to the dollar store, pick up a jumbo marker, cross out all the labels. So you want them to make them look like this, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is it's upside down, but I'm gonna take the label and I'm just gonna literally put it over the other label and it's gonna look absolutely fantastic. And that is what I do. So check all the box all around for any white things like this this doesn't matter that's part of the box but any labels that Amazon has put on there that you can't cover up with the address label that you printed out and you just stick that on in and you're good to go baby just drop it off slide on in there like VIP put it on the countertop and be like boom cha-ching what's up guys current time 4 58 p.m. we're running a little bit behind schedule but that is all right cuz life is good Sometimes you're late, but it's worth the wait. You know what I'm saying, guys? Looking absolutely fantastic. Beautiful day, sun is shining. Finished selling all of my Osmos Recovery Cycling Solution Powder. Some guy bought seven off of me. I gave him a deal. I gave him, uh, he paid six, I gave him seven because he bought so many off me. And shipping is really cheap. That's what obviously what we saw earlier in the video, in that box. Sweet, gotta drop that off at the post office. Then, I was gonna go to Goodwill, but we need to get on the road we have a surprise in the books for you guys looks like someone has taken the big old mirror so someone's going to use that for their gym guys take a look at that our neighbor's throwing away a big old mirror right there up against the side of the trash can big old mirror if i needed it for the man cave gym i grab it but i don't have a wall big enough to hold that bad boy that's a beautiful mirror post office in the books proceed for children at play slow down that's what i'm talking about that's america well, you guessed it, ladies and gentlemen, we're heading to go see Penny Dog and Grandma Ma. My friends, this is the block where I grew up. This, we used to run this block back in my day, but now we're just visiting the block. You used to run it, now you visit. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do business. What you doing, Penny? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing, cutie patootie? What you doing? What you doing? Yes, 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 yes. Current time, guys, right there, it says 9.24 p.m. And make a long story short, I'm taking care of my grandma this week. Absolutely fantastic. In the old stomping grounds, taking a little gander. Don't you worry, we're gonna be doing some diving around this area, my friends. But we are heading back home right now. Need to go pick up Natalie's car because I do have a little bit of action in the books for tomorrow. We're gonna switch cars. I'm gonna give her this one. I'm gonna take hers. I gotta go to the car wash real, real quick, like, you know what I'm saying? Gotta scrub that up all nice. And then I 
I think I'm gonna try to go to bed earlier tonight, so I need to make sure that I get my z -Quil from home. If you guys aren't hip on the z -Quil, just like NyQuil minus the actual like cold stuff. Well, actually, I am kind of congested, so maybe I'll do actual NyQuil. So anyway, it's up to you whether you want a Z-Quil. I don't think it has any alcohol in it. NyQuil does a little bit, so you gotta be a little careful about that, guys. So I'm gonna go get that action, and then we got some things in the books. <laughs> Look, it's Thursday Night Lights, football. I just saw a couple uh, city police officers that are uh, in my city, and they have those really nice chargers, man. They look like real high tech, like RoboCop-ish, you know what I'm saying? Only problem about that though, you know, I don't break the law, I drive the speed limit, I do my thing, you know what I'm saying? But back in the day when we were in high school, you could tell what was a cop and what was not. You could tell because they had the Ford Crown Vicks or whatever they were, and the yellow portion of the blinker light was on the inside of the headlight. Now with the back of the chargers, for sure, you could tell what's a cop a long distance away because those chargers, they got the LED lights on the back all the way around the brake lights. But the front of the car is tricky, and especially the Ford Explorers, especially the Highway Patrol, come on now. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get yourself a radar detector, but hey, we don't speed. Do not speed, my friends. We drive the speed limit. We actually drive under the speed limit. I get a lot of people honking at me all the time. They're like, hey, hurry up, hurry up. And I'm like, yo, I'm always scanning. I'm trying to do a little bit of diving, my friends. Anyway, back home now. Let's get this in the books. So real quick, remember that big old sheet of glass for the garage gym? It looks like the neighbor who put it out then took it back. I don't know what's going on. Maybe Maybe they had second thoughts. What's up guys? Just wanted to get this on camera real quickly. Here's the big old sack of action that we found last night. Remember that? Now I took out most of all the cool stuff that's over here and I am washing some items at grandma's house but I'm back home now obviously. But I'm going down to Goodwill. I'm going back that direction to go to grandma's house so I gotta go to Goodwill. Unfortunately it was a ton of women's clothes as well. Women's shoes and we don't need any more shoes so we're just gonna offload the whole entire thing to Goodwill. There is some more like Quicksilver shirts and Adidas shoes. I'm gonna see if someone I know wants those. A grip, I won't get into everything, but let me show you at least all the women's stuff, guys. Again, I took out a ton of stuff. Here's just a couple, like, there's a couple little, like, kids things or whatever, but look at all those shoes and there's like even purses and all that kind of stuff. Some of these shoes are actually really, really nice, guys. There's Blake Scott. I have no idea if those are that good or not. Most of these are all like Steve Madden type shoes, so it's like, it doesn't seem like anything really, really expensive. We got some nice flip-flops, Madden Girl, stuff like that, a pair of Vans in there. Again, guys, Adidas, size 11, some Quicksilver shirts, Volcom shirts. I took most of the good stuff, and again, we're gonna get to that. That's over there with some other really cool brand new Disney thing, so we're gonna show you that for Trash to Treasure. You gotta stay tuned for that. First stop, Goodwill. Close, books, more books, more books, more books, more books, and more. Man, look at that Tesla on the back of that tow truck. How can a Tesla break down? Never seen that before. Cause we at the car wash, where washing cars is my thing. What's up guys? Man, super tired. Different over here. It's like when it's not your space, sometimes you actually get tireder because nobody's doing nothing. But if you're at home, you have other things to do, you know what I'm saying? So it's awesome. Anyway guys, I'm in my dad's man cave. That's just a little sneak peek. I'm gonna maybe give you a house tour. Maybe, maybe if dad doesn't get mad at me. Anyway guys, I am getting after some action. Just wash the Sperry shoes. Remember those Sperry shoes right there? Just wash those. Looking absolutely fantastic. These are mine, of course. I did find those dumpster diving. These are the best shoes ever. Adidas Climacool. Just wash those as well. I have a YouTube video about showing you how to wash them without messing them up. Absolutely spot on fantastic. Guys, we're looking absolutely fantastic. In here, I'm finishing up drying my Volcom shirts and all that kind of stuff. Actually, the sheets here. See, Volcom shirt here. We'll get all that in tomorrow. There's another Volcom. I think that's a Volcom or a uh, Quicksilver. I'm not exactly sure. It should be about, yep, there's another one there. So anyway, that was in the stash of clothes. I'll show you guys that full blown tomorrow in size medium. I wear size medium, awesome. Oh my goodness. So guys, stay tuned for that house tour and Pops' man cave setup. Anyway guys, God bless you, God protect you. Remember the carpe diem, baby. And remember to always go after your dream. And I'm gonna get some sleep, <laughs> cause I'm tired. Light up.
right, guys. Time is now 11.29 p.m. And we're shooting more. <laughs> There's some kids right over here.